And we're back! Lovely weather, isn't it? With to another episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. And to be honest, the weather here in real life is not much better, I will say this much. So anyway, if you remember last time, we're here on Route 4, and this Flaffy is level 36. That is a pathetically weak Flaffy, and he's going to get a punch to the face for being such an atrocious Pokemon. Except I missed, so I don't know what that says about me. Never mind. Oh well. So yeah, hopefully today we can plow through Route 4. Oh, don't do this, Egbert. Don't make me switch you out of here. Right, so yeah, Route 4, and then we're going to go back through Diglett's Cave. And maybe even get through all of Route 2 and head to Viridian City. Wow, that really, really, how that didn't defeat it is beyond me. Right, I think you deserve a Thunderbolt to the face for this. Oh, you're going to use a damn potion. I will not have my progress stopped by a Flaffy of this level. Right, come on Fluffles, you can s clean up the mess that Egbert is making. Oh, they didn't use a potion. That's like the first time in forever that that's happened. Yeah. Alright, well, it was defeated anyway, so no problem. I think the next... I think there's a bird keeper on this route, so we should probably keep Egbert out anyway, despite letting me down severely just now. Uh, I can't see any items. And I'm not willing to walk around and try and find hidden ones. If they were hidden items, they weren't supposed to be found. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, like, did someone just put them there and then dig over them? Or, are they like what we find with a metal detector? Are they ancient relics of a long past? And we're just using them to, like, heal our Pokemon. Like, we find ancient potions could be centuries old, but we just use it on our Pokemon. I cannot be good for it anyway. However a potion is supposed to work, I'm not sure. Do you feed it to its mouth or what? I don't know. I suppose that's the case with most RPGs that use potions. Do they just chug down the entire potion? What if, like, the human species doesn't like potions? You think about that. Or don't. Because it's not that important. It's just a game! <laughs> I fail to realize this in so many situations. Uh, but we did defeat this person. What is the point of this ledge? <laughs> Who put this here? Oh, there's at least one more. Um, this might be the last one. Ooh, there's a delicious item there. Um, I... Spit it out, woman! God damn it. Hopefully you don't have many Pokemon. Just the two. I can deal with that. Right, come on, Dynamic Punch. This is where you have to shine, man. Or I might have to replace it, which actually is not such a bad thing. Oh no, not follow me. Why did you do that, you attention-seeking whore? Ugh, come on. I don't know what the hit rate is, but we're definitely below that in this episode. You did not get up on the right side of the bed today, Egbert. And you're going to heal that off, aren't you? I don't know why I didn't just Thunderbolt it. It probably would do about the same damage. Uh, hopefully this defeats it. Ah, oh, come on. You're going to heal that off. You're going to make me angry. No. Damn you, Picnica Sharon. Damn you. Uh, um, I'm now tempted to get that item up there. So I might surf towards it. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that did about as much as I expected to. I'm probably going to not even be of much use, but I don't care! Now that I know it exists, I must have it! What part is this, anyway? This is part 80, I believe. The big 8-0. Man, I kind of want to reach episode 100, just to say that I have a series that's gone to 100 episodes. None of my other series are coming anywhere close to that at the moment. Uh, but actually, I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd reach it. I'm really not sure what to expect in terms of gameplay. There are a lot of, like, side quests going on. All these teams coming up and making a general nuisance of things. So, I don't know what... I know that once you reach Cinnabar, stuff is going down. And I suspect as long as he doesn't have a teleport puzzle, I'm okay. And this woman does not have much to say. Yeah, that's right. You stay quiet. Oh, never mind. You can just run up to the item. It is a hook up 
Which is good because now I'm glad that I didn't waste my time surfing there. So, like, did someone block off that water route? Who knows and who cares? Right, so I'm gonna heal. I don't know how much I show healing on screen. It can't be that often. And then, I guess we're going back through Diglett's Cave. I also hope that I have repels on me. I don't know why I wouldn't. But it seems like the sort of thing that I would forget to have. So, let's quickly check before we proceed. And stop raining, that house. Very nice. It's a nice cool evening. Okay, yeah. 23 repels. We can deal with that. Let's use our bike. I don't use this often enough either. I use it in most games, but in um, Heart Gold especially, I liked the novelty of the whole Pokemon falling behind you. And for some reason, they couldn't follow you behind on bikes. I mean, that kind of makes sense, but I would have loved to see that. That would have been hilarious. Just trying to keep up with a bike. It's not as though most of the other things make sense. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's cool. So we're nearly at Vermilion City, which has the awful instrument in this game. So we'll try not to stay here. Oh god, quick! Oh god, that instrument is terrible, I'm sorry. The arrangement is great, the instrument is terrible. So, we're taking a... I don't... I wish I had fly, man. I mean, I do. I wish I had a fly, though, on my regular team members. Because, of course, I don't. I have to rely on that Spearow that was given to me. I'm not even supposed to still have it, but I couldn't give it to that guy for TM Nightmare doesn't matter, I think. Did I teach that to Gengar anyway? I don't think I did. Which is good, I'd rather I didn't. Alright, so in Route 2, which is, if you didn't know, is south of Pewter City. So we're just gonna go ahead and beat some of these trainers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This looks like a bug trainer, so let's use who do we use? We could use Fluffles. Uh, I'll stick in with Egbert. Egbert still needs XP, I suppose. Hello! These bug catchers with your crazy hats. I didn't realise bug catching was like such a well-versed occupation, but everyone in this game seems to do it. Oh well. So yeah, there is actually something that happened since I last recorded. I last recorded last week, because as I probably mentioned about a billion times. Oh shit, I didn't see that coming. Nah, that's not what I mentioned. Uh, as, but as I probably mentioned, uh, I was away for the whole of last week. Uh, I was unable to record because I was not actually at my house. But I'm back, and since that time, there has been... Uh, by the way, spoilers for those avoiding 6th gen news and whatnot. I don't know anyone that is, like, that sort of person that doesn't want spoilers, to be honest. But just a warning, yeah, uh, there's a new Mewtwo form, and that is a very interesting thing to happen, uh, notably because it is the first form of a Pokemon from a previous generation, and it's very bizarre that it was revealed at this stage, considering, I don't know, there's not, I mean, there's only six other sixth gen Pokemon revealed at all. So, very interesting, uh, but yeah, this particular form of Mewtwo has caused quite a stir amongst the fandom from what I've seen, from what I've seen, grammar, from what I've seen, uh, and some of it is really annoying stuff, as, I don't know, some of you, yeah, right, this is my stance on all things Pokemon related. You're free to dislike something, but if you dislike something for the stupidest reasons, you just come across like an idiot. And in the case of this form of Mewtwo, I've heard arguments such as, Oh, Mewtwo is just one of those Pokemon that should never be touched, and you've ruined Pokemon, or my childhood is destroyed, or something. And these claims hold absolutely no basis. Again, you're free to have these claims, but I'm also then free to think that you're really, really silly for having such an opinion. Which I think is fair enough. Because any sort of, oh, it ruined my childhood sort of thing. Oh, by the way, we're going through Viridian Forest, so let's see how... Ooh, tree trunk! Uh, have repels stayed up? Yeah, they're still around. Okay, that's cool. 
Because I generally dislike all of, oh, it's ruined my childhood sort of arguments. I mean, that that has been happening to pretty much, well, I mean, not only to Pokemon, but to every series, really. Before this whole incident, but it is notably cropped up here, saying that, oh, it's destroyed Mewtwo and something. No, it hasn't. And people complaining like, oh, well, it looks, it looks nothing like it. It's not supposed to. If it looked similar, I mean, it does look similar, but if it looked too similar to the original form, there would be no point in it existing. Although I suppose those of you that say, well, it shouldn't exist, that's why, well, whatever. <laughs> Have that opinion. But it did not ruin your childhood, it is still the same thing as it was, but now there's another form. That's fine. And if you don't like it anyway, here's the old cliche, if you don't like it, just don't use it, man. Don't use it. I'm not going to use it. But that's only because I never use legendaries anyway. Ah, oh, Yanma, yes. So yeah, I don't know. I find a lot of annoying comments like that. With no basis at all. And it sort of harps back to the old argument of, Oh, Pokemon's running out of ideas, which I bring up all the time. So I'll try not to beat a dead horse. But actually, I heard the perfect analogy. Uh, for defusing that particular argument. Um, there was some video I watched, I can't remember what it is, to be honest, uh, the guy that made it, but it's a good enough video, is is 10 least favourite Pokemon, and he explained why. See, that's the thing, you can dislike a Pokemon, no problem, but it would be nice if you had a valid reason for it. Because <laughs> not everyone's going to like every Pokemon, and I understand that. But yeah, his reasoning was, um, he was talking about how most people Dis um, dislike Vanillite. Wait, this was his entry on why he thought Execute wasn't a good Pokemon. Which I disagree with, purely because it is Grass-type, and by default Grass-types are awesome. But, yeah, he said he didn't like Execute, and a lot of his list, to be honest, was just, like, unexplainable Pokemon that seemed lazy, such as Dugtrio just being free Diglett. And, I don't know, I like Dugtrio, but, yeah, I can understand his reasoning for that entirely. And then he brought up the fact that people rag on Vanillite for being an ice cream Pokemon. Execute is just a bunch of eggs. That is the laziest thing. Or at least the most unimaginative thing. It's very strange. I don't know. People sometimes seem blind to the fact that first gen had a lot of really defunct designs. That just made no sense and were just lazy or uninspired, such as the whole Dugtrio thing. It's just free Diglett. And what happens if one of those Diglett then leaves? Which is an interesting point as well, I suppose. See, with Magneton it's different, because they're sort of like, held together by magnets, but these Diglett just willingly decided to join up together. Plus the fact that it actually evolved, like from a Diglett, meaning that like, did two Diglets split off from it? I don't understand. It's very strange. I'm trying to think of other examples of that, but those are the worst offenders by quite a way of Pokemon just being added together. See, I don't know, with Clink, it's kind of different. Not terribly different, though, but I like the concept of gears being added together. But my problem with Clink is that it kind of looks to... I don't know, because... I'm trying to explain it in words that make sense, but as you know, I don't do that very well. It kind of looks to... I'd say uninspired is another word I'd use in this situation, just because it's just another giant gear added to it. It's a cool idea, but I wish it looked better. What I thought they should have done with Clink is have it evolve in... have it branch evolution. Oh, what the heck? The withdrawal of a Pokemon? That never happens. I kind of knew that would happen, though. Just because I knew he'd screw with my Earthquake. Um, but, oh, Animus. Never mind, I guess we're switching Pokemon. Yay! But yeah, because Clink has the abilities plus and minus. Like, it is one or the other. Uh, hang on, what do we use here? Definitely not Gange. What, what did I just face? You know, it's just Piney. Pi needs action. Needs some action, 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 action. Oh, I guess not. 
I guess Piney doesn't need some action. Gans needs some action. Uh, body slam, I guess it is, and hope this thing doesn't use Silver Wind or Whirlwind again. Oh, wow, that did loads. Oh, and it paralyzed it. Excellent. <laughs> oh, Giga Drain, suit yourself. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, since Clink has plus or minus, I think it should have evolved uh, separately depending on what its ability is. I don't think there's a Pokemon that does that yet, so I hope that. With the alleged fact that Pokemon X and Y are supposed to be based on genetics, which is kind of implied by the names X and Y, well at least that seems to be a very popular theory. Uh, the whole thing about splitting off evolutions based on abilities I think is a good idea. <laughs> Screw you guys, I think it's an awesome idea, but oh well, we'll see if that ends up happening. So much potential with that. Hopefully it's not just... I liked Sinnoh, but it did have maybe too many evolutions of existing Pokémon. As long as it gives me a Dunsprus evolution, I'm okay. Okay, well we pretty much blitzed through Viridian Forest. That's still better than it was in the previous, in the originals. <laughs> Where, again, they just kind of got lazy. They did that also... No, I don't think it was laziness. I think they were just running out of space on the cartridge. And I'm not surprised at that, because Gold, Silver, Crystal are pretty massive games considering it's for a Game Boy cart. And now imagine them making two save files for that. It's not happening. Even though it'd be nice to have more than one save file. That's something that would be nice if for some reason, say, Red, Blue, Yellow was brought back on like a later console, just for nostalgia. And so you could have more than one save file. Like the deluxe edition or something, I don't know. Don't need it, but it's just nice that the thought of more than one save file could potentially exist. I don't know any Pokemon game that doesn't have only one save file. Mystery Dungeon only has one. I, my Colosseum apparently only has one that I found out whilst I was playing it. Um, as far as I'm aware, every Pokemon game only has one save file. That is a limitation right there. And I swear everyone we face has been a bug catcher in this episode. Well, on route two anyway. Uh, and a beedrill. There's only so many bugs you can use. But these guys, it's funny to think that this guy's a level 62 beedrill. If he went just went to Johto and applied for the Azalea gym job, he would get it. He would destroy Bugsy. No questions asked. That's what I like about this game. You get hikers late, later in the game that the better than Brock is, take over his job. What's he doing still in position with a level up 12 Geodude? Get rid of him. Don't need him. And Pine Degree level, yay. Last out is Battle Free. Uh, I think this might take two Shadow Balls. I used to have a Butter Free Plush. I wonder what happened to that. I used to have a Butter Free, a Bulbasaur, and a Snorlax Plush. No, was it a Snorlax? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I used to have those. Whereas now, I have a Snivy, an Apom, and a Combi. Yes, I don't know. I don't know why 20 year old, year, 21 year old man would go and collect Pokemon Plushies, but that is what I do. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I wish my Apom could like hang from my ceiling or something, but nah, it's pretty badly made. But yeah, we're here in Viridian City. I'm on a road to Viridian City. Oh right, oh, what the heck. Didn't realize Viridian City had a waterfall feature. Let's not question it. Uh, so I guess we're exploring Viridian City in the next episode and in that time we could probably go west for a bit and also south to Pallet Town where the Pokemon series all began. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Tools.